How are you today? Oh, I'm fine. I'm well. I'm so fine. Are you ready to learn a new, les new lesson? Why is your voice very low? Hello. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to learn new words now, Doc? Um, yes. Okay, what is our last lesson or what is our lesson yesterday? Did you remember that? Yesterday is a uh, um opportunity. opportunity. Yes, very good. So our lesson yesterday is all about the job opportunity, right? So now we have new lesson. Okay. So can you see what I am sharing to you? Oh uh, yes. Okay, very good. So let's start. Okay, let let's finish to lesson today. Okay, about listening. So today our lesson for today is all about did you hear about? So let's introducing interesting stories or asking for details okay <laughs> excuse me doc <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay before we start let's start with vocabulary okay can you read that uh yes um no cool school see fire brighter keep going we less uh he's still calling pass out chuck so we have it a vocabulary local school scene firefighter keep growing up oh no keep growing witness hysterically pass out and chuck so now Complete the paragraph with the correct form of verb. So, I read the answer in the first. Okay. So, just wait for a minute. What happened to this? Okay, can you read and try to answer? Can you do it, Doc? Oh, uh, yes. Go. Last week, there was a fire at local school. Can you do it? Oh, uh, yes. Oh. Uh Last week there was a fire at the local school. A lot of people with less the seeds. Uh, they were worried about because the fire keep going up. Luckily, fire, uh, fire, fire, fire is a uh, gift. Check. Text very uh, quickly. Low ones, low ones uh, was passed out from the fire, but the uh, uh, witness um, continue. Um, continue. Was taken to the hospital. The news. Um, The news. Okay, so that is our answer. Okay, so I'll be explained to you. Okay, just listen carefully, Doc. Last week, there was a fire at the local school. So it means, Doc, that. There is a fire in the local school. 
a lot of people witness. So there are many people saw the fire or saw the sun. So that that that's why the a lot of people witness the scene. They were worried because the fire keep growing. Luckily, who is that dog? It's my brother. <laughs> He's not studying. Oh, just. Okay, let's continue. Are you okay now? Oh, okay. Okay. So luckily, firefighters react very quickly. So it means that, that there is a fire in a local school. There are many people who witnessed. And then the firefighters was already react for very quickly. So did you see um, a fire in any places? Have you seen the scene? Mm. Have yeah. you seen? Okay. So, do you already witness about the fire? Right. So, in this story, no one was injured from the fire, but a witness was taken to the hospital. The news report that a woman responded hysterically and couldn't take the excitement. She passed out in the middle of the street. So what happened to this? There is no one injured in the fire, but there are many people witness, right? Just remember. So the news is a woman respond hysterically. So it means that the excitement of the woman. So what happened to her? she passed out in the middle of the street so that's why only the witness will be injured because what happened she passed out right okay did you hear something about an interesting story okay can you tell me an interesting recently that you heard okay can you tell me one some something interesting that you heard uh, some, yes. yes okay i will listen to you um I has hear many the story. Yeah. So what kind of the story? Uh, is the oh. about the. Um, How to check the people. Okay. Can you tell me something about that? Oh. Oh. I, I just, I learned uh, in, in, of, Uh, we must cheat the people um, politely and, uh, and police in don't nice, don't, don't, don't not be this re, because this is what 
disregard uh, dis the pupil and please uh, cheat politely with pupil. Uh, be a kind, be the kind pupil. Okay, very good. So let's proceed. So let's have a conversation lesson. How did the man fall onto the subway truck? What did he do after he woke up? Okay, just listen carefully. Lesson two. Did you hear about page four? Conversation A. Listen. How did the man fall onto the subway track? What did he do after he woke up? Hey, did you hear about the man who fell onto a subway track last week? No. How did that happen? He was texting a friend and he wasn't watching where he was going. He fell, hit his head, and passed out. No way! What happened next? Luckily, someone witnessed the whole thing. He jumped onto the track and pulled the guy out. Wow! Did the guy injure himself in the fall? Not really. The guy woke up after a few minutes and he was fine. He got up and finished typing his text message. <laughs> so that is very interesting, right? Did you understand the story? The conversation? Um, yes. Is this, is that a fun, funny story? Just look at, not re the guy woke up after a few minutes and he was fine. He get up and finished typing his message. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, just listen. Hey, did you hear about the man who flew into a subway truck last week? No. How did it happen? So, he was texting a friend. So, the guy was texting a friend and he wasn't ever watch where he was going. So, he feel, hit his head and pass away. Pass out, I mean. So, what happened next? Luckily, there is someone witnessed the whole thing. He jumped onto the car and pulled the guy out. So the guy was not injured. But the guy woke up after a few minutes and he was already fine, right? He got up and finished texting, right? Or finished typing the message. So no. Oh. Uh, fell in onto the chain. Yes. Okay. Next. What happened to this? Okay, lesson write the three extra sentences you hear in the conversation. Okay? Let's start. Page four. Conversation. C. Listen. Write the three extra sentences you hear in the conversation. Practice the new conversation. Hey, did you hear about the man who fell onto a subway track last week? No. How did that happen? He was texting a friend and he wasn't watching where he was going. He fell, hit his head, and passed out. He was just lying there and a train was coming. No way! What happened next? Luckily, someone witnessed the whole thing. He jumped onto the track and pulled the guy out. Someone else called the emergency services. Wow! Did the guy injure himself in the fall? People really shouldn't text while they're walking. Not really. The guy woke up after a few minutes and he was fine. He got up and finished typing his text message. Okay. So, did you, do you know how to continue this? He feel his 
hit his head and pass out. What's next? Uh, teacher, can we listen a bit? Oh, hi. Page four. Conversation. C. Listen. Write the three extra sentences you hear in the conversation. Practice the new conversation. Hey, did you hear about the man who fell onto a subway track last week? No. How did that happen? He was texting a friend and he wasn't watching where he was going. He fell, hit his head and passed out. He was just lying there and a train was coming. No way! What happened next? Luckily, someone witnessed the whole thing. He jumped onto the track and pulled the guy out. Someone else called the emergency services. Wow! Did the guy injure himself in the fall? People really shouldn't text while they're walking. Not really. The guy woke up after a few minutes and he was fine. He got up and finished typing his text message. So first he feel he had his head and pass out. What is your answer? Um, that's about our um, things. He, he, um, lying there in, um, I will need here, so he, he lying there. <laughs> nice, he jumped onto the track and pulled out the guy out. So, there is someone who called the emergency, right? Can you hear that? So, well, hello, did the guy injure himself in the fall? Not really. So, it means that don't text. What is that? Don't text people near the walking. Okay, very good. So, now... Let's help language buster and notice the ways we introduce interesting stories and ask for details. Okay, did you hear about the man who fell into a subway track last week? So, what did he do? So, example, you'll never be believe what happened. My neighbors and AI keep losing things like case and shoes. How did that happen? So, it turned out that the neighbor's new cat was taking things and hiding them in the basement. So, did you hear about the man who fell into a subway truck last week? Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. You'll never believe what happened. So what did he do? The guy was helping the, the person who is passed out in the subway, right? How did he react? He find ways, right? He was not injured also. How did that happen? The story happened because there is someone who is texting in the middle of, in the middle of the street and he did not notice the what is that? He did not notice the street. So that's why I just look up. Okay. He wasn't watching where he was going. Fear he feel hit his head and pass out. That is the answer. Okay. So next. 
Lesson to the, this phrase says, notice that any word that begins with a vowel inside a phrase links with the word before it. Okay, please listen. Page 5. Pronunciation. A. Listen to these phrases. Notice that any word that begins with a vowel inside a phrase links with the word before it. 1. Heard about. 2. To a friend. 3. The story I heard. 4. Passes out. Okay, please read that. I heard about to a friend the story I had. Pass out. Okay, heard about again. Heard about. Hear about. To a friend. To a friend. The story, the story I heard. I, I heard. Passes pass out. out. Passes out. Okay, complete the conversation below with your own ideas. Then circle the words that began with the vowels. Okay, practice the conversation with the partner. So let's start up. Did you hear about the woman in California? What happened? Well, this woman is wearing a red t-shirt and a blue trouser and he went to a mall without bringing her wallet. Okay, that is our story. Okay, now, speak with confidence. Okay, Doug, this is it. Work with a partner to make a list of interesting or unusual stories you've heard about recently. Okay, you already tell me about the story, right, Doc? Um, okay, do yes. you have any story recently? Ah, yes, yes, I have a story, funny story. Okay, what, what are another story that you had? Um, my stories is, um, um, the one the woman go to a restaurant and feed, and then uh, he, she finished the food, uh, she um, um, went to the ring. So the uh, water, water is go there as, um, what do you want to drink? And the uh, woman said, um, what is the most expensive drink in here? And the uh, water side, there is there one's drink called hot water. <laughs> hot water. water. And then uh, it is it's in 50 dollars. As the woman said, hmm, okay, I will try. And then the woman buy, uh, his, buy the, buy the hot water with fifty dollar. And then it's in the water only. <laughs> wow. So, uh, so see, see, very hot. <laughs> and the water. Mm, so it is hot water. Are you joking, Doc? <laughs> or joking? Okay, Doc. No, that's great, Doc. No, good job. So now let's continue. Okay, can you see my slide? And again, 
Yes. Okay, so this is another lesson, okay? Oh, no. So, are you a four? So, this is our new lesson. This is unit three. Are you a four? So, let's read the vocabulary doc. Can you read that? Uh, yes. Uh, a four. Catch. Get a beast to eat. Scream. Squeeze by. Try out this in the mood. Declining, 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 fat fever, stuffy loss, actually terrible. Okay, so stuffy nose, itchy, terrible. So that's how about vocabulary. Read the sentence below about. Things to do on a weekend night. Check the sentences that are through for you. Oh, no. So, next. Number one, can you answer? Try to answer. This is our vocabulary. Just wait for a minute. Okay, read the sentence below about things to do on a weekend night. Check the sentence that are through for you. Okay, number one. Please read it. Check if it is true for you. On Friday and Saturday nights, I am usually up for going up. Did you go that? Uh, no. Yes, I like to catch a movie with my friends once a week or more. What is your answer? Yes. I like to get a bite to eat with friends at last once a week. Mm -hmm. uh, I think no. When I'm really busy, but I'll try to swing by for a little while. Mm -hmm. I think No. Okay. I like to try out new restaurants whenever I can. Oh, uh, yes. I'm usually really beat after work or school, so I don't go during the week this. Um. Uh. No. I just on some nights I'm just not in the mood to go out so I stay home. Yes. Okay. So that is your work and nights, right? So please listen a conversation. Lesson six, are you up for page 14? Conversation, A, listen. Why do Max and Leah decline Bruno's invitations? Where is Bruno going to go for dinner? Hey Max, are you up for going out tonight? I was thinking we could try out the new Italian restaurant on Market Street. I'm not really in the mood to go out actually. I'm pretty beat. Hi, Leah. What do you say we try out the new Italian place? I really wish I could, but I have to study for an exam. Hey, Paul. Are you in the mood to get a bite to eat tonight? Sure. That sounds great. I don't feel like cooking tonight. Hmm. How about Thai food? Sure. I'll eat anything at this point.
Okay, so practice the conversation, the, then find the best places and the sentences below to the conversation and practice it again. Please listen carefully. Lesson six. Are you up for page 14? Conversation. A. Listen. Why do Max and Leah decline Bruno's invitations? Where is Bruno going to go for dinner? Hey, Max, are you up for going out tonight? I was thinking we could try out the new Italian restaurant on Market Street. I'm not really in the mood to go out, actually. I'm pretty beat. Hi, Leah. What do you say we try out the new Italian place? I really wish I could, but I have to study for an exam. Hey, Paul, are you in the mood to get a bite to eat tonight? Sure, that sounds great. I don't feel like cooking tonight. Hmm, how about Thai food? Sure, I'll eat anything at this point. Okay, letter A. What is your answer? Uh, letter A is... Uh, letter A is... I have last is... That is correct. Okay. I heard that. That is great. Okay. Next. Number letter B. Letter B is E. I work since our day. Letter three is E. Uh, letter C is E. Um, I am a beast of a woman. I never force ski. I am studying. Okay. So, hey Max, are you up for going out tonight? I was thinking we could try out the new Italian restaurant on the Market Street. So, what is the answer? I've heard that it's great. I'm not really in the mood to go out actually. I'm pretty bit. I am a, I work, uh, no, I work 10 hours a day. Hi, Laya. What do you say we try out the new Italian place? I really wish I could, but I have to study for an exam. I am a bit overwhelmed. Hey, Paul, are you in the mood to get a bite to eat tonight? Sure, that sounds great. I don't like feel. I don't feel like cooking tonight. Hmm. How about Thai food? Sure, I'll eat anything at this point. I am starving. Okay, that is the different ways we make invitation and decline politely. So please read that. Making invitation, please read it. And declining politely, doc. Please read. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, looking. Looking. Are you up for I going mean, out tonight? I'm up okay. For going out tonight. Uh, are you in the mood to talk about? What do you say we try out there? Do you feel like how that sounds? Uh, deeply polite. I'm not sure I'm up for that tonight. I really wish I could, but I have to study for a, an exam. I'm not ready in the mood to go out at a time. Actually, that sounds really fun, but I am pleased I have also played. Okay, so are you up for going out tonight? I'm not sure I'm up for that tonight. Are you in the mood too? I really wish I could, but I have to study for an exam. How about I'm not really in the mood to go out? What do you say we try out? That sounds really fun, but I'm afraid I have other plans. Okay, so that is making an invitation and we have declining politely. Decline means they are not going to 
out, right? All they are negative. They decline already. So example, if there is someone who invites you for a dinner and then you are the one to decline and you will say, no, I cannot attend a dinner with you because I have an important matters. So that is declining, right? So invite your partner to do something tonight. Your partner politely declines. Okay. So can you do it though? Okay, I will give you an example. Okay, Doc, I will invite you today to attend my birthday party. So what will you say when you are going to decline my invitation? Hello, Doc. Okay, what will you say? So, example, today, Doc, I will invite you to attend my birthday. So, what will you say if you are politely declined to my invitation? You invite me? Yes, I invite you to attend my birthday. And then you will decline. What will you say? How to uh, say a decline politely? Uh, yes, I really wish I could, but I have to study for an exam. Okay, very good. So listen to people making and responding to invitation, okay? Yes. Page 15. Listening. A and B. Number one. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Hi, Daniel. I'm great. What's up? I was just wondering... Do you feel like listening to live music tonight? I have an extra ticket to the symphony. That sounds really fun, but I'm afraid I have other plans. I'm going to see a movie with Tina tonight. Oh, what movie are you seeing? We're going to see Night of the Lake Creature. Oh, I heard that's really scary. Have a great time. Thanks. Enjoy the concert. Number two. Hey, are you up for catching a movie tonight? I'm not sure I'm up for that tonight. I'm pretty beat. Oh, why are you so tired? Well, I had three classes today, and I had to work for four hours afterward. Wow, yeah. You must be exhausted. Well, how about tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night sounds good. I have the whole day off tomorrow. Great. Let's meet at the theater at 7. Sounds good. See you then. Number three. What do you think about going to Ken's house with me tonight? We're going to play video games. Oh, does he have that new game he was going to get? Yeah, he bought it yesterday. I really wish I could, but I have to work tonight. That's too bad. What time do you get off work? I work until 10. Will you still be playing then? Probably. Last time, we played until 2 in the morning. All right. Maybe I can swing by after work. Number four. Hi, Maria. What do you say we try out the new restaurant down the street tonight? I've heard it's really good. Hey, Kib. I'm not sure I'm up for that tonight. I don't really feel well. Oh, no. What's wrong? Are you sick? Yeah, I think I have a cold. Do you have a fever? No, no fever. I just have a headache and a stuffy nose, and I'm kind of achy. That's terrible. I'll bring you some chicken soup. You don't have to do that. It's really no problem. I'll see you in half an hour. Thanks, Kib. That's really sweet of you. Okay. So let's answer. Okay. So first, declining, she is going to see a movie with Tana. She had three classes, right? He feels bored. He has got cold. So that is if you are going to decline, okay?
Oh, we'll just wait for a minute. Oh, what happened? Now listen again and check doc. Page 15. Listening. A and B. Number one. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Hi, Daniel. I'm great. What's up? I was just wondering, do you feel like listening to live music tonight? I have an extra ticket to the symphony. That sounds really fun, but I'm afraid I have other plans. I'm going to see a movie with Tina tonight. Oh, what movie are you seeing? We're going to see Night of the Lake Creature. Oh, I heard that's really scary. Have a great time. Thanks. Enjoy the concert. Number two. So, declining hey, number one, Are you one, up right? for catching a movie tonight? I'm not sure I'm up for that tonight. I'm pretty beat. Oh, why are you so tired? Well, I had three classes today, and I had to work for four hours afterward. Wow, yeah. You must be exhausted. Well, how about tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night sounds good. I have the whole day off tomorrow. Great. Let's meet at the theater at 7. Sounds good. See you then. Okay, we have two declining, Number three. right? What do you think about going to Ken's house with me tonight? We're going to play video games. Oh, does he have that new game he was going to get? Yeah, he bought it yesterday. I really wish I could, but I have to work tonight. That's too bad. What time do you get off work? I work until 10. Will you still be playing then? Probably. Last time, we played until 2 in the morning. All right. Maybe I can swing by after work. Number four. Hi, Maria. What do you say we try out the new restaurant down the street tonight? I've heard it's really good. Hey, Kib. I'm not sure I'm up for that tonight. I don't really feel well. Oh, no. What's wrong? Are you sick? Yeah, I think I have a cold. Do you have a fever? No, no fever. I just have a headache and a stuffy nose. And I'm kind of achy. That's terrible. I'll bring you some chicken soup. You don't have to do that. It's really no problem. I'll see you in half an hour. Thanks, Kib. That's really sweet of you. Okay. So, how many declining today, Doc? There is a invitation, right? But all the invitation was already declined, right? Doc? Can you hear me, Doc? Hello? Hello, Doc? Hello? Uh, hello. Okay, Lisa. Okay, can you, can you hear me clearly? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so why it is declining? Why in every invitation there is a decline? decline? Because uh, uh, we can do this or uh, must do something. Yes, so they decline because they are busy they will um they will have another things to do right yes so invitation is just always there but um they need to decline because because they have um the most important thing to do right yes okay so maybe they decline because the invitation is not too important, right? 
um, that is only um, first in the first invitation, um, they tell that they have a ticket, right? To see the live, right? That's, yes. But what happened? The girl declined because um, they are also watching a movie. With Tina Turner. Mm, yes. Second. What is that again? Second. Mm, I forget. Okay. They also declined. So the fourth invitation was declined already. Okay. Because there is more important than the invitation. Okay. So what have what did you learn today, Doc? It is already time. What did you learn today about the uh, invitation and you are always declining? I uh, learned today how to be utilized. Yes. How to invite. Yes. So today we we'll learn about declining something or something that is not so important to us. So example for the weeknights. So that that invitation is for the weeknights, right? Or for the yes. weekends, okay. So the people were declined because of the thing for their own, right? The thing for their own good, not their for own happiness, right? Because that is only um it is a short time only, so so the most important is the thing that can make you a good or as always, right? Or maybe they decline because there is someone already appointed, right? They have already an appointment also. That's why they decline. So there are many reasons why someone will decline your invitation okay don't be a of um don't be angry if someone will decline your invitation because that is normal right okay just always remember that talk okay doc thank you so much for your time so today we finished two lesson okay yeah. okay thank you so much for your time doc bye bye good night Goodbye. Oh, who like it? Okay. Uh -huh.